There's over 15 restaurants inside, and we're gonna eat at a couple of them. Let's check it out. This place is awesome because it's so sleek, it's so chic. The ceilings are super high, and there are real trees inside. I think we're starting strong here. This is the perfect appetizer for today. We got the East Coast oysters and little neck clams. And we have this beautiful drink. Oh yeah, it's the Bloody with, Mary. With a bunch of beautiful display of raw stuff on top of it. Can't wait to give these babies a try. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Wow. Mm, so fresh, so cold. And I forgot what summer tastes like. This is what summer tastes like. <laughs> little neck clams. Much lemon on these. <laughs> Careful, let's go. Oh, yeah. Delicious. I'm ready for my next $2 bite. That's a $3 bite right there. Whoa. Mm. Having quality seafood in this place is amazing. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually don't expect a seafood spot. And there's also a lot of street food, Mediterranean, barbecue, all types of food here. East Coast oysters. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, what a bite. Wow. Ready for Bloody Mary? Oh yeah. Half of the people at the bar are actually here for drinks. So we're gonna try this one now too. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. It tastes like actual red cocktail sauce. It actually does. <laughs> it's very interesting. Let me see if the oyster tastes any different. I'll eat half of this. Alright, I'm gonna take it. Oh wow, it's a whole Ooh. Oh, you knew. Oh, I didn't know, but nice. This is such a unique drink. Mm, I hear you slurping. Mm. This looks amazing. Mm. Oh, yes, I love this. That's probably one of the freshest shrimp I ever had. All right, the rest of the skewer is pretty awesome. There's lemon. This looks like lychee, which is something that I was surprised about. I wouldn't have thought. Oh, the 
this looks so good. <laughs> wow. The bun is very soft. The whole thing is soft. It just melts in your mouth. It yeah. falls off and then it melts in your mouth. I was like, Ben, help, help me hold this. It's like about to slip off. Wow. I'm almost saying like everything with that chutney sauce is so good. Mm. in a while. It's very juicy. And there's no cheese on the burger and it's still great. And there's no lettuce. They only have a tomato on it. <laughs> it's spicy in here. Really spicy. <laughs> we got these really delicious sweet potato fries and I'm gonna dip it in their homemade ketchup. Yes, they made homemade ketchup. Mmm, that homemade ketchup is good. I'm trying to calm the, the fire in my mouth right now. It is pretty fiery. <laughs> Pretty amazing to have this kind of cultural food right here in a fancy food hall. Yeah. If you ever knew the hue, this place you have to visit. BK Johnny, it means sweetheart in Urdu. We're gonna check out PDA Slice Shop and PK Johnny. They've teamed up to give us an Indian style spicy chicken pizza. Can't wait to check it out. What do you think of the pizza? I think it's very good. It's very spicy. You think we can handle it? I think we can. <laughs> Finally, this thing smells great. It does. Oh, is this the right flop? <laughs> well, you have to hold it a little bit. What do we have in here? We have fontina, mint chutney, red onion, peppers, and spicy chicken. It's got all these great vegetables, a nice green to it. Ooh, there's a spice to it too. Are you ready? Yeah. My freaking mouth is watering for real right now. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is almost just like a naan, if you think about it. Mm. But it has a lot more stuff on than a naan. Right, and it's also oven baked. I see a lot of similarities so now that I'm thinking about it. I'm really enjoying this fusion. Yeah. Really spiced up, really flavorful. Spicy, but not too, too spicy. Yeah, you can still enjoy it. I still can get over how naan looking this pizza base is. This feels so right. It's like Friday afternoon after work right now in Midtown. Enjoying pizza, getting ready for the weekend, and some good pizza. So the vibe is right. I think anything goes well on pizza. Especially mm -hmm. spicy Indian chicken. I'm eating all the crust, so I really enjoy this. Unlike me, I didn't eat the crust. Usually, I add in all this spice on my pizza, but this time I didn't do that because there was a lot of flavors already. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. from Greenpoint Fish and Lobster and also PDA and also BK Johnny. All right, bring on the food. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, beautiful. The classic broth and then strawberry yuzu with soju. This is my drink from the last bar. <laughs> All right, we got the classic ramen here and the broth comes separately because they don't want to get the noodles soggy until it's ready and now we're ready. Let's go. Oh shoot, I like poured it on you. Oh my gosh. I gotta say that ramen looks so much better now. It was dry ramen and now, now it looks awesome. Legit. Yeah. A Korean place that sells ramen. Fun fact, we order a lot from community and the chef that opens this place actually cooks some of our favorite dishes there too. Mm -hmm. Chef Esther Choi. All right, we're the noodles. Oh, that's great. I'm ready. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Mine's half decent. Oh. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Cheers. We said cheers already. I know. Oh. <laughs> mm. This is actually so good. Mm. I especially love the noodle texture. Did you get that crunch? It was really delicious. The bean sprouts are a great addition because of that crunch. This is truly a classic ramen. The broth is so flavorful. There's flavor packed in every single drop. And they're very generous with the protein also. I'm the places with just one piece of meat. One piece of meat. <laughs> hey it's amazing. Really yeah. Good. yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Shout out to Danny. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> That's Pope the egg. Mm, I'm ready. Look at this egg. I would say I'm not always impressed with ramen places, but I'm pretty impressed with this one. It's done right. Mm. 
always surprises me when something in a pool hall is done right. Ramen was great. I was really excited. I'm more excited about these babies too. Food bunnies, yum. <laughs> Beautiful. They are shiny. They are shiny. So these are a little different right off the bat. They have green peppers on top, jalapeno. Sesame seeds. And you see the fatty part of the pork. Oh yeah. Can't wait. I'm ready to take a bite. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> it looks so biteable, right? It does, but I don't want to. I'm ready. All Cheers. right, let's do it. Sandwich I've had. Very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The texture, the flavor is all different. We're very used to the duck buns, but the ingredients in this one is very different. So it looks like they actually use the fatty pork from the ramen with a lot of pickled vegetables and. And cucumber kimchi. Mm, great combo. Very satisfying. And the bun is sweet as usual. Each bun runs up to $6 each, two Whoa. for 12. Okay. Now, would you rather have two oysters or a bun? The weird questions I ask. Hey, that's hard to choose because I love both of these. Now, do you have to eat oysters for the rest of your life or this bun? What would you choose? Bun. <laughs> It'll be more filling. You get the protein, you get the veggies in here. And carbs. Mm, yeah. Really hard. So you can literally eat this for the rest of your life. <laughs> How's it? This is really good, actually. Strawberry yuzu with soju. <laughs> <laughs> processing, processing. I can process good food and drink. <laughs> We're so blessed. We're gonna have more room for one more. The Hugh is, it reminds me of an HEM greenhouse museum with food in one. It really does. And this corner here, right here, reminds me of Japan and Korea. Like a little shack you'll be eating in. Oh yeah, they like to eat in rows. They like to just go and get some lunch and dinner by themselves and just have a relaxing time. And yeah. 10 feet from us is a old style classic New York bar and a pizzeria. Pretty amazing back here. So many great options. So <laughs> really big. <laughs> He's really enjoying his ramen. Mm. That was a really satisfying meal. Next up, Taranga, 20 feet away from where we were just at. Taranga serves West African food with emphasis on Asian ingredients. chicken bowl, the yasa chicken bowl, and the ancient vegan bowl. I took off my sweater for this, so <laughs> I'm so ready. The first time trying West African food, I'm so excited. That's so amazing. This is New York City for you, and you get everything in a full home. Yes, and this is particularly in Senegal, Senegalese food. All right. Oh man, I took a bite already. That's okay. <laughs> but we got rice, we got plantain, we got a pea stew, and a grilled chicken. Time to take another bite. Chicken time. This grilled chicken is really good. It's a lot of flavor. Like usually with grilled chicken, you're like, it's healthy. Not as much flavor, but this one actually has a lot. All right, here we have some African red rice along with some black IP plantain and also the same grilled chicken. I'm gonna try this plantain because we didn't get to try. Oh, yes. Mm. Well, this spicy gets to plantain. It has more texture. It's a little harder than the soggy plantain we used to. Really sweet, really good. Black eyed peas. Really healthy peas. What makes it better is actually the salad, the tomato, and the cucumber they put along with it, and cilantro. This one got my attention. African red rice. Let's go. On the surface, it looks really healthy, but there's so much flavor in here. It's almost like the halal food rice, but healthier. Let me try a piece of this chicken. Ooh, looks glorious. Wow. This is some real grilled chicken. It's made on a charcoal grill. You could taste the charcoal. It's actually really good. So this is West African food, huh? I'll say it's, it's very similar to a, a lot of food we had to other cultures, but it definitely has its own twist to it and no characteristic. I'm gonna let Ming handle the vegan dish. Come on, you gotta try it. This one, we got rice, kale stew, black eyed peas, and sweet plantains. Ooh, I wanna try this kale stew. Oh, it smells delicious. A lot of flavor in that. Mm -hmm. Rice mixed together, that's a great balance, I like that. And I gotta try these plantains. I'm a really big fan of him. Then why didn't you have it the last time? I forgot, I was overcome by the chicken and the rice. Allison. I don't know, man. He just 
just makes me feel like I'm in his house. Right? Yeah, home cooking. Yeah. It's like home cooking. Like his voice and his tone and everything just nice. He's like, guys, don't let the food get cold. I'm like, oh, yes, I won't. Let me try this vegan stuff. Wow. If you mix it with rice, it's like... What is in that thing? Great, great combination. And this rice is a little sweet too. It's a little different. Wow. Honestly, eating a vegan dish like this one is so much easier than just biting into a whole bowl of broccoli. <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume like a lot of cultures, soup also plays a crucial role in their diet. Wow, this one's strong. And there's no other word to describe it. This is really flavorful. Wow. Oh, so sour. Oh, yeah. uh, wow. This one almost tastes like peanut butter <laughs> juice. I think there's a lot of peanut butter used in these, like some of these dishes. I see, I saw on the menu, it was like peanut based. Oh, ah, okay. I never had anything like this before. It's kind of addicting, right? Yeah, it yeah. is. We yeah. got three drinks here. This is the Vista, which is African super juice hibiscus. This is medicinal. It's moringa. A fruit from South Africa. And this is the boba. The boba? Boba. Boba. Ben thought it was boba. He was like, ooh, boba. <laughs> I'm gonna try the one with a label. Vista. Shake before you drink. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. It's really healthy. You like that too. This is a fruit. It's like yakko, but more grainy. I feel like. Yeah, it's like a coconut yakko. Yes. Wow. That is cool. And this reminds me of like a candy, like hibiscus. Usually, I'm like thinking it's a light drink, but the, all the flavors here are so flavorful. Yeah. I'm gonna drink the whole thing and it's not be able to figure out what it is. I'm gonna try this one. That's medicinal. Uh oh. Medicinal, but it's, it's good medicine. Here, try this. Okay. Oh, this feels like a green juice, but like a thinner version of a green juice. It's actually packaged like one too. Not gonna lie, I was a little scared going in there, but these are actually really good. First time trying all of this, and actually we like all of them. Yeah, I'm glad to be a little open-minded trying these things. Wow. Okay, all of these are great. I think I'm just sipping all of them. <laughs> these African Super Bowls are super choice at the huge. Massage and the food. It's like I'm on a vacation in Africa. Thank you so much. If you're in Midtown, check out the Hube. So many awesome choices to eat at. Yeah, it's honestly like United Nations in here. We only try five places, but five out of five. Oh, by the way, they're open for brunch now too. On the weekend. Oh, you want to come back tomorrow? I'm down. Also, check out.